Hi, I'm Gail Johnson. I'm a musician. I live in Los Angeles, California. This is for Tamina Johnson Lawson's project, as she's asking questions about my special needs sister. What's their name and their relationship to you? Well, it's my sister Donna. Her name is Donna Johnson, and she's two years younger than I am, and we grew up in the city of Philadelphia. What is their specific disability? Well, Donna was labeled retarded. But she never wanted to be called retarded, and uh, I would tell her, you're not retarded. You're, um, you're just special, and you have some things you have to work on. So I taught her how to ride a bike when she was little, how to help her walk. She didn't start speaking until she was about five years old. Her hair was very slow to grow in, but it was very pretty and fine. And um, she was just a, a joyful child. It was, being that she and I were close in age, it was my job to you know, take care of her when I ate, she ate, you know, and when I bathed, she bathed, those, those kinds of things, but I took care of her and I taught her everything I knew. What's the most challenging part about living with someone with special needs? Well, with Donna, she really didn't want to accept that she had special needs. She didn't like going to the special schools and she, um, she loves music, um, like myself, I'm a musician and I'm sure that she would, she would have been a musician had she been born normal. Um, there's some controversy about that, whether or not she was born retarded or whether it was later developed from a fever when she was a baby, so I'm not sure. But uh, the most challenging part was that, uh, you know, she was different and she really didn't want to accept that she was different. And uh, she didn't like being called retarded. If you called her retarded, you were in for a fight, so... Um, but for me, she was just my sister. Um, you know, I didn't wish she was any different or get mad at her because of what was going on. Um, I understood early, but, um, you know, we would play together and, and do all kinds of stuff. We would laugh together and watch cartoons together. So um, I think as she got older, you know, it was difficult that we were all moving away from home and she had to stay home. And, and that we were all getting boyfriends, and so all of our boyfriends were her boyfriend. And of course, you know, it's like, okay, you know, Frankie's my boyfriend, he's your boyfriend too. So sharing, uh, sharing our lives together was just a, a normal thing. I just wish she was able to communicate a little better. Um, later on, after I went to college, I noticed her speech. Her speech started to change. And it was very difficult to understand what she was saying. And she stopped doing all the things that we were doing together, you know, riding bikes and walking together and all that kind of stuff. So and I watched her kind of degenerate and I felt guilty about that, but I had to, you know, to go and live my life and try to make it a better life for her. Have you experienced any public discrimination? Uh, yeah, sometimes people would look and stare, you know, um, she, I would always have her to walk upright and walk straight. She wanted to lean over and, um, you know, so people could look at her and clearly see something was wrong, but she's, she's one of those in between, you know, you could kind of look and kind of tell, but maybe not, maybe so, you know, but, um, she fit in with all of us and wherever we went, she was welcome to go to parties and, and all that kind of stuff. What is the best and worst memory living with them? The best is that she's my sister, always very kind and sweet and loving. If you ever lost anything, she would find it. Um, always very sweet, very helpful, always willing to give you a hug, tell you that she loves you. Uh, the worst part is if she got um, angry about something, like now she's starting to have uh, episodes where she's, she's angry and so she has to take medicine and she doesn't take it on time it affects her mood and demeanor and I don't like to see her have to go through that but um, so that's probably the worst thing and uh, and now she's she's dealing with some issues now that she's getting older you know like the rest of us but um, I love her just the same uh, Donna Johnson she can dance oh she can dance Donna can dance in fact I wrote a song called Donna and uh, she loves Michael Jackson, and um, she won't eat any fish because it has bones in it. 
she don't care for porn on cob, but uh, she likes steak and uh, she likes music, she likes parties, and uh, we bought her a cell phone, she likes having a cell phone. So um, I think I, that's having her in the family helped make me have appreciation and sense of duty to take care of people like her and to look out for them and not to ridicule them and to help any way I can. So I hope this helps you, Tamina. Good luck in your project.